everybody, my name is Diane Ponzio. I'm here from Martin Guitars and I'm here at the Guitar Factory in Parramatta. And I'm, I'm loving seeing some of my absolute favorite Martins here. Um, this is a guitar that I don't see too often in Australia and it is a spectacular instrument. It's called an M36 and I want to tell you the story about it. Uh, in the 80s, um, some really fantastic, well-known American guitar players asked Martin Guitar to make archtop guitars, to which they responded, what are you, crazy? Because archtop guitars are really, really incredibly expensive and difficult to make because you have to carve the top and back of the guitars. So what Martin did was they designed a guitar based on their archtops. So this has got the same depth as a, a Clapton, uh, or a triple O, but it's a slightly bigger, it's actually a 4-0, O, double O, triple O, 4 o. And this guitar is uh, very, very, very balanced. In fact, many of the folk guitarists of the 80s em totally embraced the M guitar. I love this guitar because of its balance and power, but there's a couple of other reasons. First, it also sports a three-piece back. Um, like the D35, but in this configuration, gives it a lot of bass response. But one of the things that I particularly love about the M36, it was a very influential guitar for me personally because it was the first Martin guitar I ever noticed that combined two woods on the top and the fingerboard. Usually the fingerboard and bridge are both ebony or both rosewood, but the M36 has a rosewood bridge and an ebony fingerboard and we did that so that the rosewood bridge would actually be a little bit lighter on the top giving you much more volume nice aging toner on the top and a bound fingerboard and this is really a fabulous fabulous guitar that's great to also you can strum it you can pick it it's very versatile come and check this guitar out this is a, a fantastic M36